and in Kafli is a major abnormality in the head characterized by the absence of most of the baby's head. Essentially, the upper part of the baby's skull and brain doesn't develop in an encaphaly that is major part of the brain, skull and scalp. The baby is therefore born without the front part of the brain that is forebrain and the thinking and coordinating part of the brain which is cerebrum. This abnormality is not compatible with the life. In fact, babies with an encaphaly are still born that is born dead in approximately 75% of the cases. Those born alive only survive for few hours, days or week before they die. The remaining part of the brain are often not covered by bone or skin. What causes an encaphaly? In most cases, the cause is unknown. There are, however, some cases in which the baby has an encaphaly because of the change in their genes or chromosome or the mother has been exposed to certain factors in the environment such as what she eats or drinks or takes, especially some medications in the early weeks of pregnancy. How does an encaphaly look like on ultrasound? On ultrasound examination of the fetus, the calvaria and the brain parenchyma are not visualized. The biparietal diameter and the head circumference could, could not be measured. A coronal section through the fetal face shows the frog-like bulging of the eyes and the absent frontal bones. What tests are done to diagnose the encaphaly? As some cases of the encaphaly may be associated with abnormal chromosomes, we offer an amniocentesis. Unfortunately, the tissue may sometimes fail to allow chromosomes to be determined. What is the treatment of an encaphaly? There is no known cure or standard treatment for an encaphaly. Almost all babies born with an encaphaly will die shortly after birth. Does it run in families? Most cases of the an encaphaly are sporadic, which means they occur in people with no history of the disorder in their families. A small percentage of the cases have been reported to run in the families. However, the condition doesn't have a clear pattern of inheritance. In some cases, it may be associated with a chromosomal abnormality, a severe malformation syndrome or disruption of the amniotic membrane. What disorders are associated with an encaphaly? The disorders that are associated with an encaphaly include folate deficiency, maternal hyperthermia, trisomy 13, 18, tris uh, Turner syndrome, triploidy, amniotic band syndrome, limb or body wall defects, and Walker-Warburg syndrome. Does an encaphaly recurs? Following the delivery of a baby with an encaphaly, it is often estimated that there is 1 in 25 chance of this happening again in another pregnancy. This recurrence rate is essentially that for a neural tube defect, so the baby may have a spina bifida instead of an encaphaly. Can in an encaphaly be prevented? There is no way to prevent this 100%. However, eating food that is rich in folic acid, that is getting enough folic acid before and during pregnancy can help prevent the neural tube defects such as an encaphaly. The standard recommendation is to take folic acid at least one month before a patient tries for the pregnancy and continue this for the first three months of the pregnancy. The recommended dose is about 5 mg, which is slightly more than 10 times the recommended dose for someone who has not had the baby with such abnormality. What are the options for managing this pregnancy? Patient can elect to continue with the pregnancy or go for termination of pregnancy. If a baby decides to continue with the pregnancy, she will be followed up regularly as there is a risk of having excessive water around the baby, which is called polyhydramnios. Furthermore, a patient may go past her due date, in which case we may uh, have to start her labor by doing induction with the risk of cesarean section as the baby may not be lying in the right way. If a patient wishes to have a termination of the pregnancy, this will be performed in a sensitive way as we will do in other terminations. Before ending my presentation, I would like to talk about few other fetal anomalies as well. Here we have a list of different fetal anomalies which include an encaphaly, holoprosen encaphalopathy, also called holoprosen kephali, hydrocaphalus, spina bifida, encaphalocele, cardiac anomalies, the renal anomalies, GID anomalies, the torch infections, the twin pregnancy itself carries a great risk of fetal anomalies, abnormal knuckle translucency which occurs in Down syndrome, epilepsy associated abnormalities, diabetes associated abnormalities, the different drugs causing different abnormalities, cystic hygroma, omphalocele, gastrochesis, exomphalos, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, meningomyelocele, duodenal hernia, 
कोराइट प्लेक्सिस सेल सिस्ट इकोजेनिक बाउल होलोप्रोजन कैफली वेंट्रिकुलम कैली कैंजेनिटल पलमोनरी एयरवे मेल फॉर्मेशन क्लेफ फ्लिप एंड पैलेट फेटल हेड्रॉप्स ड्यूटिनल एट्रीजिया कैरी मेल फॉर्मेशन एंड पोटर सेंट्रोल सो थैंक यू सो मच दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट एन इन कैफली एंड द लिस्ट ऑफ अदर फीटल एनॉमलीज सब्सक्राइब ऑन ऑप्स एंड गाइनी थैंक यू सो मच अल्लाह हाफिज़